How do you feel you did with this assignment, Darren? All right, I think. You have here that the night you and Sari Kobinski went out for chocolate milkshakes was when you remember the feeling of love. Is that accurate? I told you last time, I wasn't going to write about my mom or whatever. I love her, obviously, but I'm not writing about my mother. So, yeah, that night was the first. So you carried out a relationship with this girl, I suppose. Actually, no. But it was the first time. And for excitement and bliss, I see you went against my rules by bringing business into it. Well, see, the moment isn't really about money. We made a lot of money with our endeavor, yes. But that moment, that moment opening up our first shop, my family around, my pops, God rest his soul, I was goddamn excited. Ten years ago, I was a kid out of college. I had a boner every minute and a half. A boner about everything, about life. <sighs> that moment, that's when my boner got everything it wanted. Let me tell you something. That was excitement. <sighs> I guess you could put that one under love too, maybe. And when was the last time you were at that first shop? Huh. I don't know. It's been, what, four or five years, maybe. I think it's nice to go back, Darren. You know, the reason I gave you this writing assignment is because very often a man of your status can lose sight of things. Not saying you have. But it's important to go back a little bit. And you have to some extent. You did well here, don't get me wrong. But I think it would be best to go back even further. How does that make you feel? I hate coffee. My mind wakes up 30 seconds before my body every single day. Sometimes I count it down. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I wish it would last forever. Today, I am flailing my arms and shaking my head left to right like a madman. I can't even open my eyes. I am completely paralyzed from the head down for 30 seconds every single day of my life. Chronic sleep paralysis. I used to sleep on my stomach. But when you're paralyzed with the pillow smothered against your nose and your neck turned and stuck in place, you'd rather be dead. So I sleep on my back now. Then I go to work. Deja Brew Coffee Company. Yo, uh, what are you doing? Yo, come on, Ben. Start swishing before uh, Carl makes his rounds. I am a coffee taster. <laughs> this job actually exists. For five years, all I've done with my life is taste coffee. I can tell you the difference between Mahi Yahi Hawaiian Blend and Toffee Taiwanese in my sleep. I can tell you which one's Beluga Brazil and which one's Kona Kona. Today I'm tasting Mochiata, Bambada, Capo Dana, Select, Gata Guatemalan, Hybrid Himalayan, Indian Instant Immaculate, and Leone Azir. Benjamin. Yo. Snap out of it, man. Come on. Spit the damn coffee out, will you? For five fucking years, you're the Energizer Bunny on a caffeine high. They don't let the bunny drink caffeine, Bobby. You know why? Because the Energizer Bunny is energized already. Drinking coffee nine to five for five years straight. You're energized. You got your batteries, kid. Slurp, swish, spit. 
the steps, Bobby. Stick to them, please. That's you, Benji. Always by the book. Why don't you try to like live a little every once in a while? You know, slip some caffeine into your daily intake. Who knows? You might get fired up. I'm fired up, Bobby. No more talking, Bobby, please. It's the most we said all year. Just because we all have coffee breath in here doesn't mean we can't smell it. <laughs> Candide always believed all was well until life finally kicked him in the ass too hard. I know his outcome. I read Voltaire. He said, forget this damn world and let me just cultivate my friggin' garden. Leave me the hell alone. A fucking garden. <laughs> That's all the guy wanted. Could you believe that? To whom it may concern. If you're reading this, I am probably dead. So how do you not like coffee? Don't get me started, Bob. I can't stand it, alright? How many times am I going to tell you? Yeah, but it's coffee for Christ's sakes. It's the American dream in a paper cup. Coffee and beer, that's what makes America go round and frankly, it's mostly coffee. It's a highbrow, yuppie, peacoat-wearing drink. That's what it really is. It's, it's an acquired taste. I acquired. I joined the team with the rest of them. Reading my literature on coffee tables, sipping away. Yeah, but you don't get that feeling, you know, like, uh, like it's a goddamn drug? I don't do drugs, Bobby. Yeah, well, maybe you should. Don't take this the wrong way, but you kind of look like shit nowadays, Ben. It doesn't matter. This stuff disgusts me. You always against the crowd, always against the wind. <laughs> You're not happy very much nowadays, are you? You should try to do. You should try smiling. You might actually like it. Hey, come on. Look today. It's fucking beautiful. Birds. You got the breeze. Everything. Just look around. No better day than today. Actually, uh, could you order my friend a tall uh, Brazilian beluga? Please? I don't want a goddamn coffee, Bobby.
drink your coffee, Benjamin, before Carl makes his rounds. I need to hear the slurp. I don't want a goddamn coffee. It's not easy killing yourself with coffee. I was trying not to be cliche about the whole thing. I guess being original saved my life. I'm done tasting coffee for a living. Not really my gig. So the guy you doing this shit now? <laughs> what do you have? Picking coffee beans out of the ground? I heard what happened. The damn CEO. The CEO is having a goddamn coffee. He was the one that called the police. Could you believe that? CEO? I didn't even know that guy existed. That's really something, Darren. How does that experience make you feel? How does that make me feel? I think it's time I go ahead and ride this train alone. Let things just fall into place. Find myself a little garden or something. The damn CEO. I told him I was doing some extra tasting that night, making sure things were smooth. He actually said that. He was a nervous wreck. You should have seen him. He thought I was feeble-minded or something. I mean, in his defense, though, right? Fired me on the spot. Scared of something. Wanted the thing to disappear. Yeah, whatever the thing was. So, he offered me a half a million bucks. 
This is what this is what CEOs do. They offer you lots of money when they're unsure of things. And so what happened? Did you take the money? I told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> I told him all I want to do is run along and cultivate a goddamn garden, any garden, anywhere. And then it was like the moment just before the national anthem at a baseball game. That silence. And then I smiled at him. I smirked at him like a lunatic. It felt right, though. It was like it was okay to be crazy all of a sudden. Like a wave hit me. Relief. I smirked at the asshole. Actually, you know what? I'll take that money. Could make one hell of a garden with this. <laughs> you go ahead and do that. One heck of a garden. Say 